Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question is what Frederick, what are the minimum what is the minimum amount of CSS I have to learn in order to be able to do front-end development because I hate CSS? So let's get into it. Well, my friend, if if you hate CSS, just get on the bandwagon with everybody else because that is God, that's damn near all of the industry, I would say. I think that there's this there's this little little niche group of people who really like CSS and they are usually web designers and some well, not even all the front-end developers like CSS, but they they learn it, they get good at it so that they can, well, they get good enough at it so that they can do it slightly better than the back-end developers, who I just assume hate it to a point where they feel actual physical pain if they need to write a selector or a class name or something like that. I mean, I've seen some people that I truly, truly look up to like professionally, and I've seen them, like, just almost get a bit, a bit of cold sweat from the idea that they need to sit down and write some CSS. I, I mean, it's absolutely, uh, to me, it's hilarious because, I mean, I've seen this person that I know, I, haven't, I know it's a good friend of mine. He is uh, one of the smartest people I've ever known. He's worked, I mean, he's worked for so many years. And he's worked on some really, really high profile projects throughout his career, and he's smart as something and then I ask and then he's asked to do some basic CSS and he he looks like a little scared kid I mean and it, it's okay I mean it is okay he does he ha, this is not something that he has been used to have to do you know it's not something that he's accustomed to doing it's not something he's interested in and that's fine but to, to like the core question here is like okay, so what's the minimum amount of the thing that you need to learn well to sh like just sort to like short circuit ourselves here and just get to the point for this, I would say that you're going to have to learn at least responsive design. That is the bare minimum. Like you, you will need to be able to know. Or you need to know how to do how to use media que media queries as an example. That would be the bare bone minimum. Liquid layouts and all of this other stuff is it has a relevancy but I will argue that it's more beneficial for you to add the, like the bare bone minimum you're gonna have to learn how to use media queries and then of course know all of the selectors and how they actually interact with each other. I mean I mean I hope we can agree that you know there is it's very hard for me to say okay what which are the like what exact rules within CSS are you gonna have to learn if you're afraid of uh, something like say Flexbox or CSS, like, no, no, let's, let's take CSS grid, Flixbox is fairly, I mean, CSS grid as an example, you don't have to necessarily learn it. It's not at the point today where CSS grid is just like just a de facto standard. Flexbox is kind of there at this point, but that's mostly because people really, 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 really like Flexbox because it's, I mean, and I can agree, I mean, think personally it is, for many intents and purposes, a much nicer experience and like easier to make a working layout with Flexbox than it used to be. Like with, it's a very, very useful tool to know. But basically, what I'm saying here is that the bare bone minimum is to understand responsive design, and that is, it's impossible for me to like break things down and say, oh, these rules you need to know and these rules you don't need to know because at the end of the day, that's uh, that's going to depend a lot on the project. But I will say that a person who wants to be able to work within front-end and doesn't like CSS is, well, you're setting yourself up for a lot of pain and frustration, my friend, because there's a lot of CSS involved within front-end development. But I will understand you if the reason behind it is because, hey, you want to be a back-end developer, but you need to be able to produce some sort of working UI. That's the case go for it, then like the bare bone minimums will be to learn how to do responsive design. Or mo you, can look at, you can think of it as mobile first, if you will, because uh, today it's be be below industry like standard to have a non-responsive website. There are quite a few of them out there, but for professional reasons, it's, you are all but expected to be able to produce at least a responsive, a re responsive design. Most websites are expected to be a responsive experience unless, of course, you're for some reason making something that is truly a desktop application and there is no 
you know, there's no use case for a mobile experience. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to learn the bare bone minimum CSS in order because you you don't like it or any things of this nature, I will tell you that the bare bone minimum is to learn how to do responsive design. So have a look at media queries. That's a, that's a big part of this, understanding screen widths and all that good stuff. And apart from that, you know, the rest, like the rest of it comes down to just knowing CSS. It's very hard to say specific rules because it's all kind of relevant and it depends on what you want to build. But at the very least, understanding responsive design and how mobile first works, that's the bare bone minimum for you to be able to work with CSS on any modern interface. Have a great day.